All right, so today I'm reviewing the 2023 Lexus RX 350 Hybrid. So this is a loaner um, that I got from the dealership as I am um, doing some work on my 2017 Lexus GX 460 Premium. Um, yeah, just a bit about that. There is a um, squeaking noise coming from the belt. I think it's a serpentine, serpentine belt that needs to be changed. Plus I'm doing 60,000, even though it's like 57,751 miles, I think I'm doing the 60K service plus um, uh, doing an oil change again. So yeah, so a bunch of work getting done to it. But yeah, so I'm here with this beauty, a Lexus RX, a new one. Um, you know, the, the front, it's always looked like a beluga whale to me, but I guess in the in this color, it doesn't look so good. I don't know what this color is. It looks like a silverish, bluish, grayish kind of uh, paint, but um, yeah, on the copper paint, the, the um, the front looks be the good. It's it's a very striking color, but this is a very neutral, mild color. Um, not my favorite. If I bought something like this, I buy either the copper or the red. Um, again, very nice. Uh, the the single LED strip there, and uh, yeah. So this is the exterior. Uh, I do like that when you lock it, the mirrors fold in, which is really nice. Um, that also is there in my GX, but I have to manually hit a button. It doesn't do it automatically, unless, you know, you mod it, but I don't want to mod. But, oh, so when I touch this, it should open up. The interior is the new interior for Lexus with a huge screen. I don't know if that's a 14 inch screen, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, so it's just a quick walk around. Let's start with the trunk area. Um, so let's see, where is the button? All right, here it is. And you've got the, oops. Why oh, doesn't it open? There we go. All right. So it's got a good amount of trunk space. Also, this I, I, I'm not really um, liking the darker interiors. I like the light as I have the crew color or the beige tan color in my GX. I have the same similar um, lighter color interior because the, the, the darker or black or brown, dark brown colors make it look like a, a cave and I like to have my interiors more airy. Um, there is, I guess you can, Press the button here and it will lower this. Oops, look at that. It lowers the seat. It doesn't raise it though. That kind of sucks. Um, there is a power outlet here. Uh, looks like some net uh, material. Um, it will close and lock it too, so that's cool. Let me press that button. There you go. Lots of beeping. Telling you that you're in the way. And now it should have locked it, so I can't unlock it here. I'll have to do this again. There you go. Now I can unlock it and move the seat back up. Okay, come on. There we go. Um, let's see. There doesn't seem to be, where is the button to actually move the seat more? Okay, so the back seat is quite spacious. However, I just discovered something. So when I paused the camera earlier, I wanted to see if I can um, moved or, or uh, tilt this these back seats further back and you can't so let me de let me demonstrate so it looks like when you when you open the uh, Trunk here, and then I hit so I'll drop the left one. So I press it. It drops it all good. I Think the the luxury version has a button that can raise it back up or you can do it from the touch screen But pressing this one does nothing um, So let me close this again, and so here's the here's the thing so now I can only move this back up to this and there's no other way to go back. Now, leg room is generous. Um, as you can see here, uh, sitting behind myself, I still have a good you know, few inches. So I'm not uncomfortable. I'm pretty comfortable here. Um, the headroom is pretty decent. I'm wearing my, my cap and, um, you know, I'm not uncomfortable at all. Uh, moving over to the second row here. Uh, or sorry, second row, the middle seat. Um, it's almost like a stadium seat. That's like a bump. I, I feel I'm much higher up here. So that's kind of interesting. Um, and what else? Uh, I mean, I've got, let's see, now that I'm here, I've got my, my vents. Um, I can adjust the temperature, which is cool. Um, USB C's here. Uh, again, this is very uh, solid, like uh, panel black, piano black, sorry, uh, plastic. So it looks very um, high end. 
Uh, again, nothing else much back here. Um, we move over to this side, same thing. I can pull this down to reveal some cup holders. Uh, this car is very dirty. I guess somebody had it for the weekend and dropped it off and they didn't have time to clean it before loaning it to me. Um, I've got my lock buttons, power window, and this is an auto, uh, not automated, electronic release. So try that again, you press this, it releases the latch, and you can get out. So let's move up to the passenger side here. So what do we have going on in the passenger side? Uh, same thing, there seems to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight way adjustable power seats with lumbar support, so that's good. I get these are pre, uh, piano black. I think this is the premium edition. Middle grade is definitely not the luxury. Um, very soft touch. Um, not soft, it's leather here. Um, leather here, leather here. Um, soft touch material is here. So pretty nice. And there's like a, a wood grain here. That's, uh, so very nice, high quality kind of feel. Let's go out to the driver's side here. Okay. Got your pedals. Okay, so this is where you know Lexus really, really shines on its newer technology. A nice moonroof. I really wish they had a panoramic. I don't know if the luxury trim or or, or if you can option this with a panoramic. That would have been really nice. Um, decent cup holders. To, ooh, I was gonna push it, but it's like ugh, I gotta wash my hands now. There's some like sticky stuff here, maybe from coffee. Um, I can put my coffee mug in here. Um, it's got, uh, looks like it's got wireless charging. Um, it's got, uh, I don't, I really don't like this shifter. I don't know why companies do this. It's like electronic. I, I demoed this in the, on the NX video I did last time. Electronic park, reverse neutral drive, park hold. Um, again, this is also kind of sticky. Um, it just feels really, ugh. They should have cleaned this up. And not the car's fault. Uh, EV mode, uh, so this is a hybrid. I don't know how many miles of range, but uh, I'm not gonna really play with that. Uh, looks like some terrain select, traction control, and then your parking brake. What else do we have in here? It's a pretty deep glove compartment. Does it, it doesn't have the, no, oh, it does have the trick one. It opens to the other side too. That's pretty cool. Um, USB-C's here. Um, I don't have USB-C. I have USB-A because I'm old school on my uh, 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 Lexus GX460. So I really hope the wireless charging works. So I'm going to be without Apple CarPlay. I didn't really think about that. That kind of sucks. Okay. Right. Okay. Pressing the brake. Let's give this a start. Wow. Look at that. Uh, this thing I really like. It is a mirror that is um, as a camera as well. So... I guess if I tap put this tab, now it becomes a real camera. I mean, a real, yeah, so this is not a real, not camera, this is a real mirror. So when I push down the tab, I can see the real mirror. However, now I can see the camera. And I think I'm gonna keep this because this looks really nice. Um, it's touch screen, I think, no? Let's see. Oh, I can do, there. there is different settings, which I'm not gonna play with. Um, or maybe I'll play with it a little bit. I guess you can adjust the brightness. What's this? You can turn the mirror up or down. You can adjust the vertical height. I think I'll leave it here. What else can we do? Um, I can do horizontal. You can tilt it. This is pretty cool. I guess you can zoom. Oh, okay. I guess I can only go one. It's not a touchscreen, so I'll have to. Oh, geez. How do I zoom back? Oh, okay. Here we go. I can zoom back. Um, I don't know what that is. Oh, look, maybe it's like auto dimming, uh, setting it up. Yeah, cool. And this is the home link button, so you can do that, turn on. That's pretty cool. I do enjoy that. Oh, I think the, I hear like a humming. Is it the back vents are on? Something's on, I hear humming. Now this screen is the piece de resistance, man. This is like awesome. Look how big and clear and, I mean, it's so responsive. It's like my iPhone. I can pinch, I can zoom. Sorry, uh, pinch and zoom. Actually, I, maybe let me rephrase that a bit. When I pinch and zoom, it is a little bit laggy, but I mean, I can 
pan pretty well, so that's cool. Um, so this is, I, I'm assuming this is shared with the new Toyota infotainment system too. I reviewed some of this in the NX. So it's got the climate controls, it's got um, heated steering wheel, cool, oh the cool seats are on, okay that's it, I'm gonna turn that off. That's why it's buzzing on both sides. There we go, turn that off. Um, this is your climate control, it's on EV or electric mode, yeah it says EV right there, but I guess if I hit this button, oh that's turning on on EV mode, okay so it's just charging. Um, what if I press the gas? Now the engine kicks on. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put these specs later. I'm assuming it's a, some kind of turbocharged four-cylinder. I haven't really looked in the specs. This 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 probably is for the adaptive cruise control. Um, yeah, let me go through more of these. Um, navigation, drive mode, normal, eco, sport. Ooh, it changes graphics and it changes graphics here too. That's pretty cool, huh? Okay, eco and normal are the same. Uh, it is all-wheel drive, so it shows the the amount of power going to each wheel but this uh let me let me check the voice commands here what is the weather right now it is cloudy in temecula california and okay. it feels like 76 degrees fahrenheit thank you so that works and it pulls up a weather app too look at that that is cool it pulls up the weather app that is awesome all right let me let me try hey lexus how can i help you Navigate to San Diego International Airport. I found two results. The first is San Diego International Airport at North Harbor Drive. Would you like to go to that one? Yes. Calculating route to San Diego International Airport. Proceed to the highlighted route. All right, looks really cool. Can hey Lexus. How can I help you? Cancel the route. Canceling trip. I think this is really cool. So the whole the whole hey Lexus thing always works. So um, and see that I I I said hey Lexus in a statement. Oh, it did come up now. Oops. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay. All right, so what do we have here? We have some uh, some menus. This is the usual uh, radar, cruise control, media, all that kind of stuff. This looks pretty similar, if not exactly, to the new NX. Uh, it's good odometer, trip meter. How many miles is this thing done? 4,508 miles, so pretty new car. Power seat settings are always good. Oh, there's three. I have two in my GX, and I can open the fuel door or the... Um, open and close the trunk. Oh, there it is. So now it's there. I mean, yeah, so this is CarPlay, it comes up. I mean, yeah. It's cool that it has wireless CarPlay, it just doesn't really work. Uh, well, it works, sorry, but I probably don't know how to operate it right now. Probably not doing something right. Um, what's this? Okay, so here I can open up the, and close up the moonroof, and I can tilt here as well. So that's cool. Oh, what's this door here? Oh, this is probably for door lamps. Yeah, all in all, this is a very, very um, nice, luxurious-esque interior. It's got, oh, it's got uh, tilt and power tilt and telescopic, like my Lexus GX. Uh, I wonder if it has the climate concierge thing. Oh, okay, so here you got rear cabinet detection. Oh, so you have a frequently used menu, so that's kind of cool. Um, so it doesn't really, uh, I don't know, we'll see. I guess I can turn it on. If I put auto, yeah, it'll come on. Um, I can set my, can I sync it? Yeah, I can sync it. Uh, I could set maybe 75 degrees, and now it's cooling up here, it's pretty cool. All right, let's go for a drive. All right, driving the new Lexus RX350 Hybrid. Cool. As soon as I plugged in the seatbelt, everything came up, press the big power button, and I hear nothing because it's a hybrid. You guys know my thoughts on that. Um, great for gas mileage, zero amount of fun for uh, enthusiasts. Enthusiasts. All right, it has key charging. Uh, I do have my Apple CarPlay, I should anyway. 
Hopefully it should show up here. There's something called proactive drive assist. See, I'll put that on and see if it's intrusive or not. I don't know what that is, but it has all the other cool stuff like rear camera detection, rear cross traffic alert, blind spot monitoring. But what I would really like to do is hit my cool seats. I saw that, oh, there it is, there it is, okay. Let's hit my cool seats here. Get those on, okay. I like that these buttons are nice and round and, and they're physical buttons. I didn't see CarPlay roll up and that is strange. Let me try that again. Let me unplug and plug it in. I really wish that these things were more, I don't know, seamless. Like I'm plugging it in. A, oh, no, that still doesn't work. I just don't understand why it doesn't work. I disconnected the USB, it's detecting it, I connected it again, yeah for some reason CarPlay isn't working anymore, it was just working, oh come on, well that's not good, but what I'm going to do is use it as an opportunity to use the regular um, navigation here, so I'm now using the regular navigation system here uh, to, because CarPlay for some reason didn't want to work after working before. Um, all right. Uh, so I know I don't need to drop. Okay, so hold on. Let's go like this, drive. Okay. I really don't like this gear shift. Okay, here we go. We're on the move, finally. All right. Um, let me see if I can drop this a little. Uh, I feel like I'm sitting on the floor. Turn I need left. to get up more here. Uh, well, I, okay, it's gonna recalculate. Um, I still In need a quarter to, of a mile. I still need to adjust left. myself. So how do I do reverse? Okay. All right. Nice big camera. I've got like a surround view as well. All right. I guess once you get, oh, hold on. Before I, I move ahead, I do want to adjust the mirrors. Uh, right. It's got the one touch three flash blinker system, like in my Corvette Z06. My GX460 doesn't have it, but I, still, I believe the newer ones, especially the newest one does have it. Okay, there is a tricked out 86 there, and I guess the car carrier. Really not comfortable. Turn left at the end of the road my, uh, onto Ina's Road. Go. Okay, this camera system is really cool, but also I'm getting used to it. Uh, I can't turn left because this is a one way only, so it's going to have turn to left. recalculate me, which is fine. Okay. Oh, it says cross traffic detected, so that's pretty cool. Okay. That's just my water bottles back there. I'm just gonna fill some water. Um, do I need to move this down a little? Yeah, okay, here we go. Okay, I'm not semi, I'm semi -comfort comfortable right now. Uh, I do need to make it over on the other lane. Uh, the, the RX definitely feels way more refined than the previous gen RX which I drove, the non-hybrid one. Uh, it is, the seats are very comfortable, but I'm adjusting myself because I'm just not used to sitting this low in an SUV. Of course, my Corvette Z06 is like right at the ground level, but all right. So I hear the electric whine and I hear the four cylinder motor. I think it's turbocharged. These, seat, these cool seats are fantastic. They're fantastic. I just wish my GX460's cool seats really work. Other than the noise, I just don't feel much. It's like, it doesn't get through any clothing. I have to wear like thin shorts for me to feel anything. 
uh, and a thin shirt to feel anything in my GX460. So that's not cool. Eco power. All right. So I'm going to switch it to, I guess I can switch it to, oh wait, no, that's the radio. I don't want the radio right now. All these like nannies. I'm not used to such nannies. I mean, I pretty much have blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert. That's about it on both my vehicles. I don't even think the GX has rear cross traffic alert. Probably just my Z06. Uh, so I guess I'm old school when it comes to technology. Let's see. How do I switch the mode again? Um, this is EV mode. I know I saw. Hey everyone, sorry uh, the uh, battery died on my video so I couldn't uh, film the last part of that driving portion of the 2023 Lexus RX350 but I can talk about it, about the, the rest of the driving experience, how it went. Um, and the answer is it was pretty uneventful. <laughs> it really wasn't that big of a positive experience I could say it was just neutral or it wasn't a negative experience either it was just neutral um, it was a really good uh, tool really is all I could say it's a great driving tool to get you from A to B um, it had some punch to it some kick when you put you know press the pedal down especially on sport mode it used more of the gas engine I also looked into the uh, specs and uh, I had originally thought it was a turbocharged four-cylinder just by the way it drove because it was quite peppy but it's actually just a regular four cylinder 2.5 liter um so combined output i think it's combined is 246 horsepower 233 uh foot pounds of torque with the electric uh assist or the hybrid motor um which is okay it's like zero to 60 in the low seven second range ish i think it's okay um again it's got a cvt so that really saps the fun out of it but i i'm assuming that if you want to buy uh, a more performance oriented version. I think there's the RX 500 or something like that. That has like in the mid 300, 350, 360, whatever the, the, the mid 300 horsepower range and similar torque figures, I believe. So maybe that might be the quote unquote enthusiast vehicle with the regular automatic, uh, conventional automatic transmission. But um, I, I'm the, the other uh, non-hybrid trims, I think they get a four cylinder turbo. I'll have to double check. Performance wise, it wasn't underwhelming, it wasn't overwhelming, it was just regular, neutral. Um, it did the job, it, it, I was able to merge, uh, no problem. Um, I was able to accelerate when needed to, the braking was okay, everything was just average. I mean, it did a, it, it's a good car for uh, someone that's looking for a luxurious, uh, pretty good looking um, vehicle that can be used as a tool to get to A to B, and that's all it is. Um, I've now driven both generations, the, the one prior as well, and both the non-hybrid and the hybrid RX, uh, the RX350 and RX450 of the prior generation, I've driven that. Um, and when compared to this, they both, both the hybrid versions drove similar to me. Uh, I don't know why the other one, I think, I think it was a V6, <laughs> I gotta double check, uh, the hybrid. Um, but I don't know, it was just lackluster in performance, maybe because of the CVT. Uh, I just like, wow, I just droned on. Um, I mean, honestly, uh, this one's just more refined, obviously. It has nicer materials, nicer infotainment screen, uh, more features or more standard features, rather. Um, I couldn't recline the seat, which was kind of the, the rear seat, I mean, which is kind of a, a letdown, but perhaps uh, the, the higher trims maybe can do it. I'm not sure. Uh, the, 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 the trim that I drove didn't have that option. I mean, it's a fine vehicle. I think it's, um, I think, I think if somebody's just shopping around for a family, um, or, you know, just to have something that's kind of stylish, the copper, uh, 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 color probably really pops. So yeah, if someone's looking for a stylish SUV that is, uh, you know, pretty modern with features, up to date tech, uh, but doesn't really care about the driving experience, then this is a probably a really good vehicle. And reliability, I mean, it's Lexus, so it has, good reliability um again this is a new vehicle but the previous generation was very had very stout reliability i assume this one will be as well other than that um the performance version of this rx might be more enthusiast uh minded or fun to drive quote unquote i don't know uh the cockpit was really nice the steering wheel was really nice 
Um, yeah, I, uh, I mean, it personally, it's not a vehicle for me. I'm more of a GX kind of buyer uh, for a car or a SUV. I like a, a true four-wheel drive, a, a body on frame kind of thing, um, kind of vehicle. So yeah, uh, and my fun car, of course, will be a Corvette. So I, I do like manual transmissions for my sports cars. Um, but um, yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching my video. Um, I enjoyed uh, reviewing it. I've always wanted to um, kind of drive it and I was blessed with the opportunity that the dealership had a loaner car that was the new RX, so that was cool. Um, and um, yeah, I think uh, it's a really good car for anyone that just kind of wants a Lexus. Um, I don't know about price point. I think it's somewhere in the uh, high 40s to mid 50s possibly. Um, again, I think it ranges, probably can get to the 60,000 range, probably on a higher trim, I would imagine. I haven't really looked in the prices. This is all speculative. Um, I, uh, it's probably a priced accordingly for that kind of market. Um, but uh, yeah, again, thanks again for watching and have a blessed day. Take care.